I've always loved working with kids and families and um, when I was 10 years old I got the idea to create something called Betsy's Day Camp and I don't know how the parents trusted me but I had up to 20 children that we would pick up every morning and drop off. They'd take three hours off the Mother's Day that they would, we would have these children to take care of and it was quite something. I was, uh, you know, I don't know how people trust a 10 year old but I had kids who were two and a half to six and I took them on field trips to the police station and the library, and it was pretty wild. I had one helper, and you know, I made enough money in one summer when I was 10 to buy a small boat, which was amazing and fun, and uh, taught me early that you know I could combine my passions of having working with kids and doing that, and then also, um, you know, doing something that I really enjoyed, which was getting on the water and using a boat. So. How we got, how I got here, and we we decided that we wanted to kind of retire to a um, a college town that was sort of halfway between New York and Boston, and Rhode Island and Vermont. So, and Amherst was right in the middle, and we saw our house at nine and bought it by noon because we fell in love, and we didn't even know the community really. So we decided that we would go and explore the community when we got here, which we did, and fell in love. Um, we found that Amherst had such many opportunities and really interesting people and, and then we also found out that there were a lot of needs here because um, my husband joined Rotary right away and he went to a meeting and Laura Reichsman who's the director of family outreach was speaking at the meeting and she was talking about a family who needed a bed and we knew someone who wanted to get rid of a bed so we borrowed a truck something we went and picked up the bed and then we drove it over to this, these people's apartments and turned out that the little boy in the family was in my daughter's class. And it made me really realize when you look at a little boy who's, you know, living alone with his mother who had some obvious uh, issues. Um, and they only had a chair and a television set in their living room. You know, it was like, we can really help these people and make a difference in their lives. And that was, my husband and I were both just struck by that big time. So, um, I found out, you know, a little more about family outreach and um, helped organize the first Christmas giving party that the Rotary had, had for family outreach families where Rotarians would adopt um, a ch child. They um, gave them, you know, each a huge bag of gifts that were tailored for them and it just snowballed from there. Seventeen years ago, I think now, we came up with uh, Light Up the Night, which is a it's much more than a fundraising event. We, uh, we do most of the cooking. We do most of the uh, setup. We don't have, the first year we didn't even have a tent, but it has been a major fundraiser for Family Outreach. We've raised over $825,000 for a house party, basically, um, through an auction and a, um, a dinner. And it's, um, it's a really special evening because it's out under the stars, but it's one of those things that gets the community involved. I think we counted about 225 volunteers last year. Um, this year we couldn't do it, but people really supported it anyway because they knew that it's such a fabulous event. So winning this award means a lot because the Chamber is doing a great job. Claudia and John are doing a great job. Tony did a great job before them, and John Cool did a great job. I mean, I think this town needs to have the businesses thrive, um, and I think we need to support them. Um, you know, it's, I hope it's not my lifetime, but it's, you know, certainly, it's nice to be recognized, and I'm, it's nice that family outreach can be recognized too. My family plays a very important role in, uh, in what we do. Um, you don't turn your house over to, a huge fundraiser without it having impact on your family. And both my husband Bruce and my daughter Mickey have been tremendously supportive and active and do um, things that, you know, are above and beyond, but we all are committed to the fact that family outreach and what's, it does what's needed in town. And um, it's been a wonderful experience for all of us. My name is Laura Reichsman. I've been at Family Outreach for 28 years and I'm the director. I met Betsy 20 years ago 
when we were planning for a Christmas party that the Amherst Rotary Club was doing and a woman attended, I'd never met her before, and we were talking about how it was going to work and she started asking questions and she said, well, what about this and what about this and what about that? And I looked at her and I thought, I need to know this woman. One of the things that I've always made sure I did was to make sure I surrounded myself with people who were smarter than I was, and that's Betsy McGinnis. And since I first met her, and I first asked her to be on our board, she has been an enormous support to not only Family Outreach of Amherst, but to me as well. I rarely go a day without talking to Betsy. I like to think that Betsy's philanthropy and heart started with Family Outreach of Amherst, but the reality is she's been helping people pretty much all of her life, whether it be neighbors or something like the adoption agency in Texas that she was very active in, or the Dickinson Museum, or other organizations that she's been active in. She has one of the biggest hearts of anyone I've met, and it is clearly a life's work to help people, which is pretty amazing. I just really want to thank the Amherst Chamber of Commerce, Claudia, John Page, for all they've done for this community during this time, and I'm so grateful that they have given Betsy this Lifetime Achievement Award. I cannot think of anyone who deserves it more. It's wonderful.